Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So what I've done now is I've actually divided this table up. I've divided it up, this is now going to form the A1 matrix, and this is now going to form the A2 matrix. Now I've divided it by the known and unknown forces. So we know these forces and we don't know these forces, and that is what allows us to partition it. So that's how you know where to partition it. It's the division between the known and unknown forces. Okay, so now we're going to go and find the values. To do this, we're going to be using these two formulas here. For cos and sine, so for example, cos AB, you go XA minus XB on L. Sine AB is YA minus YB on L. The very important thing for this to notice is that it's AB, so it's A minus B. If it was BA, it would be YB minus YA. That's very, very important, and we're going to see why in a second. All this essentially is saying is just finding the sine and cos of an angle. So cos of an angle we know is adjacent on hypotenuse which is just this formula here. Sine of an angle is just opposite on hypotenuse that formula there. Um, the only really important thing is the notation of AB, A minus B. So we're going to go use that now to work out these matrices. So I've just re re rewritten it out. So the A1 matrix would now be just these components there which is over there. Now I'm going to write out we're going to be using the formulas. So for causes and for causes it's x's, for sines it's y's. So we have cos BA would be xB minus xA on L. Cos BC would be xB minus xC on L. Sine BA would be yB minus yA on L. Sine BC, yB minus yC on L. Once again, taking note that whatever letter comes first is the first letter. Um, the first subscript of the letter. Very, very important. So let's go find what these values are now. So the way you do this is whatever letter comes first, so CBA, so the B letters first, the B, you go to that member. So we're going to node B. Now it goes to A. So it goes from B to A. So B to A. You're starting at B, so what that does is it makes you hone in on B and fixes that as your reference point. So this is now your fixed axis. So you're actually going to write that coordinate as 0 minus 